hey guys how are you doing i am back with another video for my addicted blogging channel and in this video we will discuss about the sensors which are present in msv gts2 mini and also we will discuss in the end of the video how can you check whether the sensors are working properly or not by a cool little trick so this video will be a sick video guys and if you are new to this channel and if you are a tech enthusiast consider subscribing my channel and hit the bell notification up because i will be bringing more videos like this every now and then so first of all msv gts2 mini is a really really great watch in the price point of 6999 it has all the basic features of a smartwatch though it doesn't have have the feature for answering calls but it has all the basic features that a smartwatch can do in the price point of 6999 so let's see what are the sensors in there in this msv gts2 mini so first of all you can see that there are a lot of sensors in here and the first sensor which is a really important sensor for this watch is Huami self-developed biotracker TM2 PPG support blood oxygen biological data sensor. So what this sensor does is it is basically the SpO2 sensor which track the oxygen levels in our blood. So we all have seen that this watch comes with a blood oxygen monitor and this really works well and I have tested with uh, the SpO2 sensor in this watch every time it gives the proper reading and though the values are approximately accurate but yeah it works perfectly fine in this watch so other than this what are the sensors in there is for movement there is acceleration sensor so this is a really really nice and important sensor which is the acceleration sensor so what it does is it tracks the movement it is used for step count and every other thing in this watch but it also has some really really good use in this whenever you will be wearing the watch and if you lift the wrist up to see the time if you put your wrist down automatically it will turn off the display in your watch to save battery so this is a really important use of the acceleration sensor which is there in this watch so it is used for tracking and it is also used for conserving battery and switching of the display whenever it is required so you can set the auto screen of time here for as much as you want i have set it to the maximum but whenever you will be seeing the time and once you see the time just lift your wrist up in here and put your wrist down to turn off the display immediately so this feature is really great and the acceleration sensor is in use here we can see putting your wrist down will turn off the display other than that there are other sensors also so you can see that the sensor which are there is gyroscope sensor uh, so gyroscope sensor and geomagnetic sensor gyroscope sensor is very important to get the reading for your step count and whenever you will be doing workouts and everything it will properly track your movement and everything and show you the accurate data so gyroscope sensor is really important um, after that the sensor which is there is geomagnetic sensor so the use of the geomagnetic sensor here is to determine the location and also the direction of the watch so that it can give us some really really good data which will be really useful so there is a inbuilt compass in this watch for which this sensor is really useful and whenever you will be going to compass it will tell you to move your wrist and after you move your wrist here the geomagnetic sensor will be taking its part and showing you the proper direction and not only it will show you the direction it will also show you the latitude longitude which is a really really great point of this watch it takes some time uh, to lock in the location via gps and uses the geomagnetic sensor to show you the latitude and longitude air pressure and everything and also it will show you the direction in your compass so apart from that there is other sensors like ambient light sensor so ambient light sensor is basically it will properly adjust the brightness of the screen and will make sure the display will be visible and you will be able to use the watch properly so right now it is activated as you can see that's why the screen is very very bright here it will denote it by a symbol in here so if you want to turn it off 
you just need to click on here and it will be turned off and now you have to manually decrease and increase the brightness so that it will work perfectly fine in any situations so right now the brightness is zero and if you want to increase it you can increase it you can see that it can really really bright outdoors and i have no problems using this watch outdoors because it's perfectly visible though the always on display which is there with this watch is not visible sometimes definitely you can lift your watch and see the time at that moment if you want so these are basically the sensors which are there and another sensor which is a really really important sensor which will be available in every smartwatch that is the vibration motor vibration motor uh, you know already what it does it will vibrate and uh, inform you if you get any notifications and other than that it has the gps sensor we all know that gps is there in this watch so if you are going outside for a workout you don't need to carry your phone it will automatically determine your location and give you the perfect reading where you have went and everything how many steps you have taken also it will show you a small mini map uh, so that you can determine the distance and everything basically how to determine whether all the sensors are working or not is you need to go to the notify app so notify app is an app i will give the link in the description you can download the notify app from the play store and once you download the app you have to come to this mailbox icon and you can see that there is an option known as tools so once you go to tools uh, you can scroll down and you will get this option of test sensors so once you click on that you can see it will give you the live reading of all the sensors uh, in your watch so if i move the watch like this you can see that the sensors are really putting a graph here showing me that they are working in your watch so this is the way you can understand whether all the sensors of your watch are working fine or not though you cannot understand that the ambient light sensors are working fine or not but the acceleration sensor and also the gyroscope sensor you can understand that they are working fine or not by this method and also the geomagnetic sensor so other than that you can understand that other sensor are working fine or not the ambient light sensor will increase the brightness of the display instantly if you go in front of the light by this method you can sense that they are working fine or not and also if the direction it is showing in the compass the geomagnetic sensor is working fine in your watch so in this way you can determine whether the sensors are working fine or not in your watch so that's it guys i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon because i will be bringing more videos like this thank you guys have a great day thank you